Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks comes with a handy menu bar at the top of the application window that can be used to quickly access all of the commands and features found within the program. To perform a command, simply click the menu bar command category like File, Edit, or Lists, for example, in order to display a drop-down menu of the specific subcommands within that selected command category. You can then click on the desired subcommand to execute within the drop-down menu. You can also use your keyboard to perform different keyboard shortcuts that allow you to perform commands in QuickBooks. The keyboard shortcuts are always listed in the menu bar to the right of the specific command to which they correspond. For example, if you click the Lists command within the menu bar, you can see the keyboard shortcut for the Chart of Accounts command, which is Control plus A on the keyboard. You can then click away from the menu bar drop-down menu in order to retract it. Next, hold down the control key on your keyboard, and then strike the A key once on your keyboard to bring up the chart of accounts window. If your goal is to become faster using QuickBooks, then learning your keyboard shortcuts can assist you in this. Another useful keyboard shortcut is being able to press the escape key in the upper left corner of your keyboard to close the active window. Now also notice that not every command within the menu bar has a corresponding keyboard shortcut. For example, if you click the Lists command in the menu bar to display the drop-down menu, you can see that a command like Item List does not have a keyboard shortcut. However, there is a keystroke combination that you can perform to access the command. If you press the Alt key on your keyboard and then examine the menu bar, you'll see that each command category, like the F in File or the E in Edit, has a single underlined letter. Now if you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then strike the underlined letter for the corresponding command co category, you'll see its drop-down menu appear. Now at that point, if you examine the subcommands that are shown in the drop-down menu, you'll notice that each one of the subcommands also has a single underlined letter. At this point, you no longer have to hold down the Alt key. You can simply strike the key on your keyboard that corresponds to the underlined letter of the subcommand you would like to execute. So using the example of accessing the item list, you could simply hold down Alt plus L on your keyboard, and then strike the letter I on your keyboard to access the item list. You'll find that every command has a keyboard shortcut if you follow this method. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.